Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here, hope you're all doing well and welcome to one of the most savage and brutal races I have ever taken part of in this game. It was ridiculous, absolutely mental. So fingers crossed you guys really, really enjoy this. Now the plan for this video originally, okay, was to do a 10 stop challenge. So I start at the back, I then go in the pits at the very start and then I change tyres every single lap. And we're going to try and see where we end up at the end of the race. It's a nice little challenge. I've seen a few people uh, attempt this. Is um, Unfortunately, this guy here uh, bins it on the very first corner. So before the race has even started, you could see him <laughs> just planted in the wall. Oh, poor sod. Anyways, yeah, so this is my second account. Um, it got reset. So I decided to do this challenge because I had no idea what else to do with this account at the moment. So uh, I think this is a CC rated lobby, so uh, yeah. That's one position straight away, uh, and he backed out actually in the end. So uh, yeah, that's one position. Uh, as we get behind the Frenchman Pro 1664 in the Nissan GTR, uh, as we try and overtake this. Is that penalty up ahead? Okay, there's two people getting penalties here, so we'll, we'll fly past them. I try to go to the left, make contact, that's my fault. Um, didn't react quick enough, I got a little bit distracted there uh, by the ghost. Yellow flags once more. Uh, I can't see anything. Maybe someone's hit the sand. Or is our matey in front of us going to hit the sand? Yes, he is. Well, there's the grass. There he goes. So that's another position. So this is a good start. Um, but we're going to have to start going in the pit now. So I know we did at the start. We're actually going to have to go in there and start changing our tyres. We're going to make sure we don't mess up the entry. Now, let me know in the comments how many times you've messed up the entry this week. I know there's a lot of people, because uh, I mentioned this on my streams this week. Um, a lot of people have made the mistake of going in the pits and absolutely been in it. Uh, it's a terrible pit entry, uh, I have to say. It's uh, it's not good. To have like a, like a mini sh a mini chicane as such, two of them really, uh, on the pit entry is just bizarre. But there you go, never mind. Uh, yes, so anyways, behind the Italian here, he looks like he was about to dive bomb uh, his Portuguese friend there. Now I'm going to go to the left hand side, and we're going to go side by side, but he's just going to turn into me. <laughs> he just doesn't care. He's literally just turned into me. He's gone, sod that, mate. I'm going to go turn left. I don't care if you're there or not. Um, and yeah, absolutely savage move uh, from the Italian. But it's not worked out for him because unfortunately for him, uh, he's dropped behind me now. Now I've got to get past Manu. Uh, Manu Hawk. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that, uh, that last part of that. That game is hang or whatnot. But we're going to go side by side for this left hander. And he actually lets me go. Okay, and that's the only good bit of racing you're probably going to see. In this video, I'll be, I'll be frank, it's probably the only good thing you are going to see. So we're going to fast forward then. Okay, so we're going to go back on the straight, so the back straight here. Um, and you're going to see there's a few more people with penalties as we go past one there, so the guy in the beetle. We're going to get an awesome slipstream behind our friend Barry here, the German, in the green Hyundai. Uh, we're going to go just in front of him here, a little bit of contact, uh, but nothing crazy. There's a yellow flag up ahead, looks like there's contact. Uh, someone's off on the grass once more. Um, and this is only lap two, by the way. So we've gone lap two, we've gone up five positions. Uh, and this guy tries to go into pits, but the beetle was just up and up. And this guy goes off, hits the sand. And uh, yeah, <laughs> honestly, this race, man, this race is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, so we're going to pits once more, because that is the objective. That was the plan for this video, uh, is to me to try and do the 10 stop challenge and see where we end up. Now we're side by side uh, with our Italian friend once more, but I am getting the slipstream. Um, of the BMW M3 ahead. Brave choice, the BMW M3. I um, can't imagine it's particularly quick. Well, it's not quick anywhere, is it really? Um, to be honest with you. Now, let's see if he treats us um, with the respect, I suppose, um, as he did earlier. So let's see what happens as we go up the hill through this left-hander, uh, double left-hander here. We've got a Frenchman off up there. I'm having to slow down so much here uh, just to try and avoid contact. I do get an SR down. But I really was trying my best not to make any contact with him here. Uh, he goes a little bit wide. Uh, I can go around the outside, make contact me there. Absolutely savage, still pushing me off the track. And then he's going to go off. Then a German man just comes out of nowhere uh, through the left-hand side. And somehow I've managed to go up to 13th. And then a Frenchman's binned it in front of me as well. I mean, what the hell is going on? This race is absolutely insane. And again, we skip forward. And there's two people serving penalties. So now we're up to P10. By lap three, I've gained nine positions and I've pitted every single lap so far. This is absolutely bizarre. I've honestly never seen a race quite like this. I've done some races in my time as such where they're mental, but this is just 
this is different level, this. So this this guy here, Arcane uh, or Arcane Sofa 6. Okay. This guy is brutal. He does not care. Um, at the end of this race, I'm going to go through all the incidents that happened in this race, because there's a lot. There is an awful lot, so we'll go through them. Just, to, you know, cover them and make sure you'll see just how bad it is. Uh, and you can see it from their perspective as well. But uh, as we go through the mountain, the top of the mountain once more, going through these awesome section of corners, absolutely thrilling and awesome track this. Um, just a little bit of a nudge on the side. I tried to go for all the left, couldn't quite make it. And there's a gap here, so I decided to go for it. However, he swipes at me there, and that's not going to be the end of our friend, okay? Because as we go down the hill, just keep an eye on the ground, bang, smash, absolute wallop, just yeeted me uh, into the wall there, gets himself a two-second penalty, but I don't really think he cares too much, to be honest with you. Um, savage stuff, absolutely brutal. Um, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that in this video, but it, it, it's honestly... And then he tries to swipe me there! He tries to swipe me again, uh, as he's actually serving his penalty, so it's invisible. So you can't do anything. Uh, but he tries it anyways. So, lap 5 now. We're in P10. We've got the German in front of us. He parks it on the apex. So unfortunately, I do go into the back of him. I do apologise for that. But he was just literally like a bus. And then he turned into me there. Uh, and I've just got nowhere to go. But like I said, again, we will go through all the incidents in this video. Just to try and... Well, I'm going to try and cover my own ass essentially. Um, but if you do think I am in the wrong, again, let me know. I, I'll be honest. I will accept my mistakes. Now here, I had to drastically as such go to the right hand side uh, to try and avoid the contact with the German and then we're gonna have to go to the left hand side of the Italian he just moves on the racing line just at the wrong time there but it does make too much of a difference we managed to, around, managed to go around the outside nailing the breaking points there and thankfully we get the position and then as we skip ahead to lap eight now the German Barry our friend Barry he's got another penalty so he has to serve that and we get that position and then <laughs> we go to lap nine uh, and then this Brit here, uh, Hooty, unfortunately, he's just hit me, he's gone. So as we go side by side, um, he's just given me no room on the outside and we collide because I touch the grass. And yeah, unfortunately, it's destroyed both of our races. So as much as I tried in this one, I just couldn't quite get it done. So I think P6 would have been the best, but I have to serve a pit stop as I go in. So you know, this is the, the 10 pit stop challenge. So you don't technically do... 10 pit stops as such I guess I suppose two of them uh, are drive throughs but again it's not there's nothing I can really do so for this strategy to work you kind of need to do 206s all the way through you can't do this in a higher rated lobby I will say that if you attempt this challenge in a high rated lobby it's not going to work I'm afraid it just won't work it you just you can't do the lap times you'll, you'll drop right back but since it was on my second account I thought I'd give it a try uh, and see what happens but I think we got eight in the end which I suppose is, is pretty good um, we've, we gained 11 positions in the race. Probably could have, well, we would have gained another two if we didn't have a little incident with the with the Brit at the end. Now, he did send me a message afterwards. Uh, it was four stars. Um, so you can imagine what the message was. I imagine it began with, a, began with a C and ended with a T. So fingers crossed, if he's watching this, I hope you see that it's not really my fault. Fingers crossed and it was just an incident. Anyways, so let's go through what exactly happened in this race because it was absolutely bizarre so this guy unfortunately bins it on the very first corner of the race uh, mark i mean that is just <laughs> that's how's your luck i mean honestly ridiculous uh, unfortunately for him uh, he does decide in the end to back out of this actually so unfortunately for him he decides to leave the race so yeah what are we on lap one here so you got these guys fighting up ahead and i can see this this um this portuguese guy here he got like a bit of a penalty like a three second penalty as I go through the replay. So you've got these four chaps here, uh, all fighting for position. One of them has got invisible. Uh, I think the Italian got one second. <laughs> so that Portuguese, <laughs> the Portuguese, Portuguese guy uh, just launched up the inside there uh, and caused an instant. <laughs> and then, I, look at, I don't know what's happened there. Let's have a look at that. So I think this, this guy here, um, Pelo Den, uh, the Italian in the Mazda Tenza, yeah, he's just... Um, well, he just made contact and he's forced that guy to go to the wall. And probably a well-deserved four-second penalty for our Italian friend here. So where are we going to go now? So, we, yeah, so we've got those two people there. Okay, now we're going to go to... So we're still on lap one, so we're going to go in the pits. We'll skip past that. Okay, going through this corner here. This is where the Italian looked like he was going to go for a move. So this is where he just turns into me there. So that's quite clear uh, if we go through that. I'm not quite sure what his 
thought processes. I'm, I can't use the, you know, say he didn't see me. Because there's no way he didn't see me there. I mean, I'm alongside him for a good three, four seconds. And he just decides to turn in. Uh, just doesn't give me that inside line that I already got. Um, tries to turn in where my car is. And that's game over for him, unfortunately. I say game over. Uh, he's just dropped a few positions. But then we've got the Portuguese guy here. This is lap two. I think this is... Did, did he let me through here? I think he... I think this is where he let me through. Now, whether he did that on purpose, I'd like to think it's on purpose, or he just out brakes himself, because he did brake very, very late, and he had to go hit the brakes hard to make sure he didn't go off. So maybe, just maybe, uh, it wasn't on purpose. I don't know. I don't know. I can't I can't really tell from that, unfortunately. Uh, this guy here gets a two-second penalty. I think he gets shunted there as he's going down the hill. So, again, three people going down the hill here. Uh, it goes for a nice move up the inside. A little bit of contact there. But I think, yeah, that's given him a two-second penalty. That's quite harsh, that. That's quite harsh, unfortunately. Uh, for DTM Racing Team, uh, they are going to have to serve... I say they. He is going to have to serve that. So this is where I went past Barry uh, with the slipstream from the Hyundai. Uh, a little bit of contact. I just turned in. I was too tight there. Uh, I needed to give Barry some room. Someone's gone off up there, actually. Haven't they? They've, someone's gone off. I think that might be... Is that our friend? Is that the... Oh, OK, OK, OK. Right, anyways. Let's have a look at that, then. So we'll go through here. So this is where I think it happened, isn't it? Let's have a look. So Aston Martin, yellow flags up ahead again. Someone's gone off up ahead as well. So the Aston Martin dive bombs up the inside. That's just not going to work. Now this is our friend that I was talking about earlier. So here he is. He must have just served a penalty or whatnot. Yeah, he must have done because he's down to sixth place now. So what's he done here? How's he gone off? What's happened here then? So he goes up the... Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's just been absolutely murked by some... I don't know who that was. Who was it? Was it Assassin Martin? It must be. Let's have a look. So he's going to go through the left-hander here. Um, he must have, Does he just outbreak himself? He, think he must have done. Uh, and he's just... <laughs> okay. I can see why that guy might be a little bit pissed. Because that was absolutely brutal. Uh, <laughs> this is what I mean. This race was absolutely savage. I've not been in a race quite like this before. I know there's one or two bad eggs, but literally... I feel like everyone in this was a bad egg. It was pretty poor. So this guy is trying to go in the pits. <laughs> and the beetle gets right in front of him as he's about to do it. And yeah, oh, absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Again, let me know in the comments, guys, if you've, if you've tried to go in the pits and someone's right there and it's caused you to either go off or have to do an extra lap. Let me know in the comments because I have not seen it quite as bad as that before. Uh, as yeah, so this is uh, the, the left hand here going up the hill. Uh, the Frenchman in the Aston Martin there, uh, just basically scraping and grinding his way through. Uh, does the Portuguese guy now? He doesn't take him out. Okay, oh this. Okay, so he goes side by side with me, hits me there, uh, and then again, just not giving me any room at all whatsoever. And then just absolute. Wow, I don't even know what that was there. And then yeah, within the space of five seconds, there's people just spinning out, hitting the walls, uh, and I've gained three positions. Uh, out of that somehow. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, okay, right, this is our... Uh, oh my god, look at this. What the hell is going on here? Okay, right, let's watch it from the top of the hill then. What the hell has happened down here? Okay, so we're on board with Bully1947. He's control. He's struggling to control that wang uh, ever so slightly here. As we go down here, look, you can see all the penalties here. What is going on, man? What is this? So this guy... Uh, this guy had a free second penalty. We're on, by, on board now with Arcane... Sofa 6? Okay, so that's a bit of a, well, a bit of a savage dive up the inside. Oh, he's just giving him no room there. That's his fault. So if he gets a penalty, I don't think he can he can even complain about that. He's not got anything. Okay, so he's not got anything then. Let's skip ahead then. So what happens down here? So he's following this guy through. Okay, this seems okay at the moment. Nothing dramatic. Okay, a little bit of a nudge there. Maybe he's just getting a little bit frustrated for getting stuck behind this guy. So he's got one second penalty. Are we going to see an absolutely savage dive? No, he hits the wall there. And what's he got? Oh, wow. Oh, God. oh, my God. That is poor. That is really, really poor, that is. Oh, my goodness. I know you're angry, but that's not... Hey, that's not good. That's really not good. That guy, the Beatles, done absolutely nothing to that guy. And, yeah, there's me going past him. Um, he just... He just I think the combination of that and the Aston Martin, uh, I think this guy just saw red, and he's just, he's just absolutely having none of it. He just did not like, he did not rate or like anyone in this lobby, quite clearly. So this is now lap four. This is where uh, I'm trying to get past him now to go through the the hill section as such. Um, really difficult part of the track to overtake. To be fair, 
there's not many overtaking opportunities around um, Bathurst. There's really not much at all. Um, for anyone who didn't know, by the way, this is Daily Race C for this week. So this is basically nine laps of carnage. Uh, if you're in the if you're in the lower rated lobbies, it's it's a bit of a mess. Uh, and I did think to myself, why is there no damage uh, for the daily race of daily race C? And I think this probably answers my question. This race here. So this guy here, look, as you can see, are just not on the brakes, just not on the brakes, going down um, for that last bit there. Before he makes contact, he's got no intentions of trying to slow down. So he hits me, he gets himself a three and a half second penalty. So he's been taken out. He's taken out a uh, guy in a beetle for no reason. Uh, and then he's taken me out as well, savagely. And then somehow, again, he's off. So what's he done here? So he's going to brake at the right point, I think. Uh, and then he just, he just lets go of the brake mid-apex. Mid I, don't, I don't get that. Why, why has he done that? Just really bizarre. I just... I can't read this dude. Well, I, don't know, I don't know what's going through his, his head. I'm not quite sure what the, the thought process is. And this is um, Bully1947, the Aston Martin. So let's have a look from his point of view. So this is from the cockpit. Yeah, to be fair, I just don't think he saw me. I just don't think he knew I was there, unfortunately. He might have been. He might have not had the radar on or using a camera where you can't quite see it. Um, so that's just that's just unfortunate, I think, on that one. There's no bad blood there. It is what it is. We'll, we'll crack on regardless. But uh, yeah, so lap six then. Two people up ahead. I decide to go to the pits. So we're going to skip ahead again. We're going to wait until we catch up with these boys. Now, there is a penalty there for the high end eye. So I'm not quite how is that just a touch a half second? It's just a half second. Uh, that's just gonna be a corner cap penalty, isn't it? So we're gonna get the slipstream from the beetle, because he's gonna lose it uh, from his friend in front of him in the high end eye. Yeah, just a half second there. So we're gonna go side by side, or we were, but I had to make a um, quick split decision there and go to the right hand side. And then we're gonna go to the left of the beetle. Now yeah, I think he just moves over. Uh, a little bit too late there on that one. I think we're I think we're clear. Nothing really happened in that, so we're happy with that. Nothing really to worry about. Uh, yellow flags. So this is our boy uh, Hooty, um, who's in the DBR9. Strong choice, brave choice, because uh, this is one understeery boat of a car, even with softs or mediums. It's not particularly great. It is solid as in it's got you know it won't it will literally it will never oversteer really, apart from when you hit the grass like that. Um, it will just have tons of understeer. Uh, genuinely um, but yeah unfortunately for him I think he's just hit the sand or the grass there uh, lost the rear end uh, and that was uh, the end of that but uh, this is the incident as we uh, skip ahead then so I'm gonna go in the pits um, as we see where's what's going on here so we go in the pits I'm gonna skip ahead again we're gonna go to the end and we're gonna watch this incident again because he wasn't happy with me on this one so again if, if you think it's my fault I'll hold my hands up and I will apologize but I don't think I don't think I've got anything to to hate myself over on this one. So let's just watch this and see what happens. So get the slipstream once more from Hootie. Now we're gonna go side by side through the left hander uh, and I just see that, I just, I don't think I've done anything wrong. I really do not think I've done anything wrong. I think he's just turned in there um, and he's just not giving me enough room around the outside of the corner. So watch it from, on, from his perspective as such. So here he is uh, in the Aston Martin uh, DBR9. So he's gonna go on the right hand side here. See, he just, he's, he's, what he's done, I think he's tried to go defensive, but I'm already there. Uh, and he's, um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, we both got reset, but I got reset in front of him. So, <laughs> I don't think he's too pleased. And as he's about, right, as he's trying to compose himself, he bends it once more. So he's, he's gone from a P6 uh, and now in a P9. So he lost three positions because uh, of that bit of contact there. But um, honestly, Absolutely savage. Absolutely savage. This race, I've never partaken in something quite like this. Please let me know down below if, you, if you've ever been in a race quite like this. Because this was absolutely ridiculous. But I did love it. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. Take it light-hearted. I'm not really that bothered about it. It went from a challenge to absolute mockery. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. So, fingers crossed you really did enjoy that. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button. Maybe subscribe if you are new around here. We're very close to 17,000. So if you can help me out on that, please do. And I'll catch you for the next one. Take care. Ta-da.